the world's smartest man. Our stem cells. When we were kids, our grade school teachers taught us that salamanders and starfish can regenerate, but people can't, right? So that chapter is now being torn out of the playbook and thrown away. The new chapter says, yeah, humans can regenerate. We do regenerate from the inside out slowly, but there are foods that can speed that up and enhance it. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a revolutionary leader who champions food as your ultimate stem cell power source. Dr. Lee believes the key to unlocking your body's natural potential lies in the power of plants. He's not just talking about bland salads. Dr. Lee focuses on specific ingredients that can activate your body's own repair system on a cellular level as president of the Angiogenesis Foundation. Dr. Lee's research delves into the intricate network of blood vessels throughout our bodies and how food impacts this vital system. This research led him to identify a unique group of plant-based ingredients that can support stem cell function. But what if you could fuel your body with meals that not only taste amazing, but also boost your cellular regeneration? In today's video we're about to explore four delicious Dr. Lee-inspired dinners packed with stem cell boosting power. We'll show you how to create flavorful and satisfying meals that nourish your body and support its natural regeneration process. Now let's listen to Dr. Lee talk about a couple of the ingredients in the first dinner. This turns out to be Swiss chard, rainbow chard. Look at that beautiful color of the stems. Um, I really think this is a, quite an amazing, I think like blood vessels, which is what I study, um, but they're really, really beautiful. And it turns out that Swiss chard uh, is a, a member of the beet family. Beet family like uh, spinach also is the same member of the family. So what's actually in uh, Swiss chard and beets and spinach that's actually good for your health? It turns out that these plants that glow, grow very low to the ground, okay, they pick up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Now, nitrogen from the soil uh, actually gets converted in the body, in the gut, into nitric oxide. So here's how it works. Whether you're eating a beet, whether you're eating spinach, or whether you're having Swiss chard. This beautiful stuff. Look at that color. What happens when you chew it really well, okay, so that's why it has to be tasty. The um, tongue microbiome, healthy bacteria that's on your tongue, actually will convert the nitrogen in the plant from the soil into a form that when you swallow the food, in this case Swiss chard, will actually turn into uh, nitric oxide it's absorbed into your bloodstream. What's nitric oxide? Nitric oxide is actually a type of gas, but it doesn't bubble or anything like that. It's in our bloodstream. It causes our blood vessels to dilate, lowers blood pressure, Okay, which is a calming thing, but also helps to recruit stem cells, uh, one of our body's health defense systems to really help us heal and repair from inside out. So I'm going to just pick one of these leaves just to show you um, just how beautiful this can be. I'm going to take a small one here. Look at this. This baby here has got full of nitrogen from the soil and actually can help recruit stem cells. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Next ingredient. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. And now for our first stem cell regenerating dinner. Well, what are you two doing? Swapping recipes? One, black bean and veggie stir fry fiesta. Ingredients, black beans simmered in vegetable broth with chopped tomatoes and spices like chili powder and cumin. Stir fried with chopped green beans, Swiss chard and watercress. Served over whole grain noodles. 
topped with a sprinkle of chopped pistachio nuts and a dollop of kefir for probiotics. Since when do you give away your recipes? And now, Dr. Lee will talk about a couple of the ingredients in the second dinner. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm at the market and I'm holding an eggplant. And some of you may have heard of me talking about this before. But while eggplant does belong to the plant uh, group called uh, Solanacea, which night cheese belong to as well, eggplants are not toxic. And that is just an urban legend. Eggplant's a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C. It's got a good source of dietary fiber. And look at this nice purple coloration. That's from anthocyanins which we know lowers, not raises, lowers inflammation. So uh, when you see one of these, think about how you're going to actually cook it and eat it because it is just delicious. One of the things I'm trying to do is to actually halt the spread of misinformation online about food because food is our medicine. Next ingredient. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. Mm. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites. Tasty, juicy, sweet. You get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. And now for our second stem cell regenerating dinner. Two, eggplant and mango curry. But I already have a recipe for that. Ingredients. Cubed eggplant sautéed until tender, simmered in a coconut milk curry sauce with turmeric, ginger, and chopped Swiss chard, served over brown rice. Topped with chopped mango for a touch of sweetness and a dollop of kefir for probiotics. Optionally, add your favorite protein. Now let's listen to Dr. Lee talk about a couple of the ingredients in the first dinner. Check this out. Kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has great source of dietary fiber. You have always next ingredient. All right, and berries and berries. I put berries in there because I'll tell you the amazing thing about berries, they are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them, uh, I, and that's why candies. I just there are there are candies that are shaped like berries, right? So the 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 thing about berries though is that they are a great source of vitamin C. They've got great antioxidants. They also have these polyphenols that are kick ass. So like and dietary fiber as well, of course. Uh, uh, the the key thing is you know people always say well is a sugar in in berries going to be harmful or in fruit going to be harmful you know this is where all not all calories are the same yeah uh, uh, fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars which are most for most people your body can actually tackle you're getting all this other benefits uh that that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it right so that's the key thing sugar isn't all sugar because the, the thing that is contained in is going to be different and now for our third stem cell regenerating dinner three fiddlehead and green power salad with quinoa um i have my secret recipe ingredients Quinoa cooked in vegetable broth, mixed with chopped fiddleheads, green beans, chopped kale, and watercress dressed with a lemon vinaigrette and optionally, a sprinkle of chopped fresh herbs, topped with a handful of blackberries. Optionally, add your favorite protein. Now, Dr. Lee will tell us about a few of the ingredients in the fourth dinner. Okay, all right, so then we got Parmesan cheese. Again, there was this whole backlash of cheese for a while. Everyone told you not to eat cheese, then it's eat hard cheese. Uh, now you're saying that cheese has this benefit the same as sourdough bread yeah well listen this is a, this is a way that science can help clear up confusion here's okay. what we know cheese and breads are sometimes probiotic foods which means that they're made with good bacteria we know that you want good healthy gut bacteria mm -hmm. for your health and there's a new thing that says that our gut health is connected to our 
hair health. You've got beautiful hair. And so here's the whole thing. There's one bacteria called Lactobacillus ruteri, which happens to naturally occur in Parmesan cheese, and it's in the starter for sourdough bread and pumpernickel bread. And naturally. Lactobacillus? Lactobacillus ruteri. 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 That's all you and remember. that's in cheese and in the starter of sourdough, sourdough bread. bread. That's not something we would see on the label. You might not. So you're informing us that it's um, there. And what does it do for us again? It actually makes your hair luxurious. In what quantity? Well, so... Because <laughs> I'm about to eat this whole thing. <laughs> if this is true. Here's the whole thing. It is just a one additional way that we actually know that eating uh, this bacteria is good for you. It has a probiotic, but this is now giving you permission to actually lean into the foods that you actually already love to be able to have some of it because it's not so bad for you. It actually might be good for you and good for your hair. Okay, so like a few ounces? Yeah, a few ounces. A couple of slices. A week. Uh, uh, actually, you... So studies have actually shown a couple of slices of cheese a day is actually can be actually good for your health as well. Okay, and how does it make us feel? What about the feeling yeah. that we so get? So here's the great part. Lactobacillus ruteri is not only good for our hair, it also stimulates our brains to release a social hormone called oxytocin, mm -hmm. which is the hormone that makes you feel good when you see a friend, when you hug a family member that you like, or when you have a kiss or even an orgasm. This is my cheese. <laughs> I'm not sharing it. <laughs> Okay. So, doctor, before you go, just to clarify, you are saying that this cheese, this bread, the lactobacillus ruteri, ruteri, yep. sets off hormones. Yes, it actually natural brain hormones that actually are social hormones. So they actually make us feel good. They can reduce stress. Uh, they they punch up our mood. And basically, when you actually feel good on the inside and you look good on the outside, you feel less stressed anyway. And now for our fourth stem cell regenerating dinner. Four, sourdough pizza with veggie medley. Ingredients. Sourdough pizza crust or slices of sourdough bread for mini pizzas, topped with a light tomato sauce. Roasted vegetables like eggplant, zucchini, and bell peppers, scattered with chopped kale and spinach. Drizzled with olive oil and sprinkled with chopped cranberries for a touch of sweetness and antioxidants. Sprinkle with a fermented cheese such as feta or parmesan. Thanks! It's a secret recipe. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.